Okay, in this video, I'm going to take a look at how to produce, how to make an audiobook. So, audiobooks are very, very popular at the moment and will probably increase in popularity due to the likes of the Audible app, which allows you to consume or listen to audiobooks and various other platforms which allow you to listen to podcasts and audiobooks. So, you're looking at the likes of iTunes, Spotify audible and so forth these are massive soundcloud these are massive platforms which allow people to consume podcasts and consume audiobooks when people are going about their daily life whether they're exercising or walking the dog or going to the gym or commuting in a bus or a train or indeed driving they can spend their time productively and enjoyably by listening to audiobooks and podcasts and many people including me do precisely that I listen to audiobooks all the time and podcasts and I do it when I'm exercising in the evening I do it when I'm driving to work in the morning I do it when I'm driving home in the evening and so I determine and I decide what I listen to and I listen to stuff that I find interesting and as I say I listen to a lot of audiobooks now as it happens I have a number of Kindle books published these are in ebook format and paperback format and um, they're published on the Amazon on the Amazon website you can buy the paperback versions or the Kindle versions of employment law in Ireland buying a house in Ireland 31 employment law cases that you will learn fantastic lessons from and so on but I am now moving on to converting those audio or those books Kindle books and paperbacks into audiobooks and I've already done one and it's selling very well and I am now transferring or converting some others to audiobooks now there's two ways you can do it you can do the audio yourself or you can get a professional to do it and I'm going to show you regardless of which way you do it how to do it and what site to go to and so on and so forth so the bottom line is the site you're looking for is ACX acx.com and acx.com is this site here and you'll see it's all about uh, turning your book into an audiobook and your audiobook then will be sold, sold on uh, audible amazon itunes and so on and so forth so this is my account i currently have two projects ongoing and you'll see that i get this one is one that's ongoing at the moment, building a house in Ireland, or buying a house in Ireland rather, a step-by-step -step guide. So this is the book that I have uh, written and published on Kindle, an e-book and in paperback. And in currently then I'm open for auditions with these books, or with this book. So what happens is I post a book one of my books here uh, on ACX and people then audition for it so as you can see the book is here I posted it a few days ago on the 11th of August and then I can review the, the auditions so if I have a look here at the auditions here's all the people who um, audition for the book so they are basically tendering for the work and then I do a deal with them, I make them an offer, send them a message, download the audition or whatever, and I can communicate with them through this platform. So if we take a look here. Introduction. Are you an employer who's worried about employment related claims from employees? Or an employee who's not sure whether you have a reason? So that's one audition that I've received. Then I've received this one from Jenny C. She's obviously very soft-spoken, um, but the bottom line is, in order to generate the auditions, I have to post the project online first, and then I listen to the auditions, and I do a deal with the person uh, to produce the audiobook, audiobook. And then if we have a look at, I have another one here, uh, I have two projects there at the moment, I want to just have a look at one of them, because I want to show you that once a person is approved uh, or in production 
also this one is buying a house in Ireland and this person I've done uh, come to an agreement with this narrator and I can now review the first 15 minutes of work that they've done and this uh, allows me to just double check that everything is okay so they have delivered the manuscript or I've delivered the manuscript I've received the checkpoint audio I've received final production etc and these are the various stages so the bottom line is I can produce books by firstly putting my books out for tender, out for audition, people audition. A lot of these people would be professional actors, a lot of them would be people who are trying to make it perhaps as professional voice people or professional actors and so on. Then if I go back here to uh, the home page of another book that I want to have uh, made into an audiobook, so I'm going to just do a search here for my book. Um, I'll just do a search actually for my own name and see what books are and are available. So as you can see there, the list of books is there. 27 Irish Employment, this is my book, etc, etc. The Art of Marketing Your Services Online. Yeah, this is the one I want to do. So I'm going to produce this one now. I'm going to put it out to tender. So I claim it as my book. Uh, I'm looking for someone to narrate and produce my audiobook, continue, or I already have audio files for this book and I want to sell it. So if I wanted to narrate it myself, do the audio myself, that's no problem. I have to do the audio files and then I'm going to use this site, acx.com, which is owned by Amazon, to upload my audio files and upload the art, the book art or the audiobook art that's going to feature in my listing. And then when you go to amazon.co.uk, you'll be presented with the ebook version, the paperback version, and the audio book. And that'll all be on amazon.co.uk and amazon.com. In this particular situation, as you can see here, the choice is I'm looking for someone to narrate and produce my audio book. That's the choice I want because I have some time, quite frankly, myself to do it. Although probably if I made the time I could. This is the agreement I'm gonna just agree to that. I'm going to agree and continue and then as you can see here I have to here's the book itself so that's the title that's correct and then I have to describe my book and I have to put in copyright information my book is fiction or non-fiction the best category do you want to receive audi auditions for this project I certainly do describe the narrator's voice so I can choose then when I'm looking for a narrator gender male or female obviously uh, I can choose then various languages, I can choose the type of accent, I can get uh, British Birmingham for example, I can get BBC English, uh, I can go for a voice age, uh, I can go for a style and so on. So I and put in any additional comments here and then here I put in some audition script notes and here then I choose the audition script from my computer. So I upload the audition script, I post the project like these other projects that I've posted and people will then tender for that and they will they will audition for it. So I have offers then and I have open for auditions. So this one is this one is open for auditions still and as you see six auditions received and I can review the aud auditions here. So that's how you produce an audiobook. Obviously you have to write a book first and you know the way I've done it over the years has been to write blog posts on my website or websites and then I eventually will when I have enough blog posts written produce those uh, blog posts into an ebook for Kindle and um, a paperback then for the Amazon uh, website is all the same process really. Here's my recently, um, here's my book on um, Irish employment law cases and here's my, my um, page or all the other books that I have for sale on Kindle or on Amazon rather. And if you go here for example to Employment Law in Ireland which is the only one I've done so far in terms of converting it into an audio book, you'll see here the options. So 
you can buy the Kindle edition, you can buy an audiobook, or you can buy a paperback. So obviously what I'm looking to do is have audiobooks available for all of my books. I have about five or six books, I think, at the moment. They sell quite well, uh, and obviously they raise my profile and give me a certain uh, brand, and my, my brand a certain cachet or whatever in terms of being a published author, even though I'm self-publishing, but... There's no great stigma now in my view about self-publishing and uh, I'm selling these books on Amazon and people in particular from outside Ireland, for example, that book they're buying a house in Ireland are buying that. People from America, for example, would have ambitions to retire or sell in Florida and sell in places like uh, United States and move to Ireland to have this romantic vision of re retiring here to a little cottage in the west of Ireland or whatever. But they would be people, um, the, t the sort of people who are buying that book from outside of Ireland. And obviously you have people here in Ireland then buying it as well. First time buyers and people buying their first house and so on and so forth. But the bottom line is, if you want to produce an audio book, then you go to acx.com, which is part of the Amazon stable. It's a very, very straightforward process. There are thousands of narrators there. You can choose whatever accent you want. And then you're going to do a deal with the narrator for... Uh, the book which will amount to or be calculated by the number of uh, finished hours required for the book so it will depend on the number of words in a book the last two books I've put there um, that I've put up on project and put for up for audition uh, are going to take about two and a half hours so they're not very long and they're not going to cost the most recent one I think has cost me about 300 pounds sterling but I think it's a good investment quite frankly and um, the previous book I've done employment law in Ireland sells very well so anyway I hope you find the video useful um, if you are interested in uh, Irish law Irish business and various other things you may be interested in subscribing to my YouTube channel thanks for